What is up, guys? Hope everyone is having a great Memorial Day weekend. But we got one episode we had to get in today is former Jackson State three-star wide receiver Ala Brown announced his transfer to McNeese State today in a huge pickup for McNeese's offense. I think wide receiver, what they just needed a guy who could go make plays, be that deep threat. And I think Brown is going to bring just that to that McNeese offense. But is as deep as the wide receiving core is for Jackson State. I do think Brown had a lot of potential in that system, but he goes to a conference in the Southland where everybody is airing the ball out. Yes, they just lost Incarnate Word, but they were airing the ball out. You know, southeastern Louisiana is going to air the ball out. Everyone's going to throw the football, and he's going to have a lot of opportunities to rack up some stats in this conference. And this is a guy who came to Jackson State as a three-star recruit as well, um, right out of high school from Valdosta, Georgia, was a top 170 wide receiver in the entire country, top 110 player out of the loaded state of Georgia, held offers from Oregon, Ole Miss, Jackson State, Cincinnati, Coastal Carolina, Georgia Tech, you name it, he had an offer from them as well. And coming out of his junior year, man, over 1,200 yards receiving, 63 catches, nine receiving touchdowns of that for his senior year. In his junior season, 61 catches, over 1,100 yards, and another eight touchdowns. Had over 2,200 career yards on offense, while as a junior, playing both ways as well with almost 100 tackles, with 87 tackles playing both ways. Also played on special teams, was a dynamic kick and punt returner for Valdosta as well. A very, very versatile athlete, man, and he, the speed, the athleticism, the playmaking ability, the ability at his size to go up and get the ball in one-on-one -on -one coverage are all things that I think McNeese is going to utilize going into next season. And looking at this McNeese roster, where can where can Brown fit in? I think he's going to fit perfectly. They were really missing you know, that three-headed monster you want at wide receiver where you want to have three guys who can go out and and win you a game any given weekend. They got Josh Matthews. They got Mason Pierce. They needed a guy to fit with them to, to stretch the defense. You look at Matthews, 6'2", almost 200 pounds. You look at Mason, 5'9", 150. I think Ala Brown's going to fit right in between them, 5'10", 185. And I think I think McNeese right now, you're looking with a very, very solid wide receiving core now, now that they bring Brown in. And this offense is one that I think was really on the cusp, as well as Cody Orgeron played. They really they needed to be more explosive, in my opinion. They lacked that explosiveness needed to win in the Southland Conference, even though they got some big wins last year. I know this year they're going to be looking to get that title because the Southland is wide open for the taking. Now that former that now that last year Southland champion Incarnate Word is in the WAC. Southeastern Louisiana loses a player like Cole Kelly now giving C. Cephas Johnson is going to be really, really good. But I really do like McNeese right now going into next season. I think when you look at the quarterback situation, they're probably going to go with Walker Wood at quarterback. A transfer out of the University of Kentucky was a Kentucky – all all district selection was the Kentucky player of the of the year, all Kentucky football offensive player of the year. He won every single award that you could, and he finished his varsity career with over 8,200 passing yards, 74 touchdowns, and 73 touchdowns just rushing. Had almost 4,000 yards rushing as well. So I think with Walker Wood, a la Brown, the returning talent at wide receiver that you're going to get with Josh Matthews and Mason Pierce, I I think McNeese is going to be in a very, very good spot. But I love what Ala Brown's going to bring to this offense in terms of a guy who can stretch the field for multiple spots. He can play in the slot. He can play outside. On top of that, you have a you have somebody you can put on special teams where you can he can take it to the house any given play. So I think that is very, very important as well. And his ability where you if you just put him in space, you can run screens, you can bring him on jet sweeps, sweeps, get get him in space with his athleticism, and a la Brown can make stuff happen. I know cut day, I know CFL and a bunch of people have great videos on Ala Brown breaking down his film. I know, I know Architect does too, but Ala Brown for me is a guy who is going to immediately be one of the guys to watch in the Southland next year, especially with Wood potentially coming in at quarterback for McNeese. So this is a huge pickup 
for McNeese. I think it was a good decision by Adla Brown in terms of where he chose to transfer. You've got a very successful quarterback stepping in. You have a need at wide receiver. You're going to be able to get on the field and make an impact. You're in a pass-heavy conference. I think this was a very, very good decision. I'm excited to see what Adla Brown brings to make this McNeese offense. And for me, and next year, McNeese could be a dark horse for the Southland, which I think is going to be extremely interesting. But, guys, comment below what you think of Ala Brown announcing his transfer to McNeese. Comment below on who you think right now is the next up at Jackson State, and do you think McNeese could be a dark horse in the Southland with all the different changes coming across that conference? Comment on that below. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Share the video wherever you, wherever you may. But, guys, have a great Memorial Day weekend. Check out more content on our website, thebluebloodspod.com. And until tomorrow, the Blue Bloods are out. Mm-hmm.